Hello, Derp Crafters. This is Derp Crafters here, here today. Today, I welcome you all to our new series, which is going to be similar similar to Mr. Paul Souls Jr.'s because I have always really enjoyed his series and that is weird, that is one weird waterfall okay then yeah, see, it's technically I think that's how it should be but I don't think Minecraft logic really cares so for those of you who are not familiar with Minecraft, it is a block building game. And <clears throat> pretty much what it's all about is you have to try and survive and then after you've gotten the basics of surviving, you can start to do great things and become very creative. So First off, what you're going to want to do is get familiar with the controls. W is to move forward, A is to move backwards, S is to move, I mean, D is to move, um, sorry, left, and A is to move, I mean, duh, D is to move right, A is to move left. So, after you've mastered all that, I prefer to use the mouse to turn around. This is more for if you're doing parkour, uh, A and D are. So, what you're going to want to do after that is space is to jump, by the way. So E is to open your inventory. But after that, after you've gotten familiar with the controls, you're going to want to pay attention that that is the sun. It starts way over there, and it's going to travel across the sky. It travels from east to west. So you only have a certain amount of time. 10 minutes to be exact to get all the supplies and stuff that you need to build a house. So, you guys ready to do this? Alright. So first off, you're going to want to go find the nearest trees, which these are probably the closest trees to me right now. Sorry for that one, that one, we'll just leave that one because that one doesn't have that very much wood. Oh, there's some horsies over there. That's adorable. So you're going to want to go and <sighs> gather these trees. You want to hold the left mouse button to punch things and then right mouse button to place things. Now I'm got not going to show off right mouse button right now because I don't quite want to have to break another one of these. So, get about five logs, take these in here, and you can either shift and right click on them, I mean left click on them, or you can put one right here, and then you can go, uh, and then you can just take them one by one. So you're going to want to right click, right click, right click, right click, like that. You're going to want to take this out, place this here, one, two, and that will make you four sticks, you're going to want to place one, two stick. And like that. And you're going to want to make one of these. And really quick, I'm going to make one of these. This is an axe. And this is a pickaxe. Now the pickaxe and the axe are going to become your best friends in Minecraft. Now there's a few other tools that are going to become your best friends, but these are probably some of the most vital at the start. So you want to collect about 15 or so pieces. I think I'm going to collect 20 just to be on the safe side since we don't have very much wood near us. So you're going to want to do all of this. And those of you who are also new to Minecraft, I do recommend the Minecraft Essential Handbook, which basically shows beginners how to get started in Minecraft and how to get used to everything. And that'll be 20 pieces right there. Now this is sand. This is gravel. This is grass. This is sand. 
That's that's gravel and that, that's that's grass and this is sand and that's gravel. And that is all stone. Most of it is. Sandstone. There's a tree right there. Punch punch. Alright, let's get serious. So you're going to want to go ahead and head back to our spawn. If you guys are going to use the seed that I'm using, go ahead and go ahead and want ahead and go ahead and what the frick? Alright, well, this is granite, by the way, and this is andesite. It's either a diorite or andesite. And oh, there is your first bad guy right there. That is a skeleton. Hold on. To do something. Alright, sorry. It's a skeleton. Now, when you're in water, you're going to want to have to hold... You're going to have to hold space, or you're going to play sink or swim. Which, you're going to sink. But I prefer to play swim, not sink. So, this is a pretty little valley, and the reason I want to come back here is because there's this. This is coal. I'm going to place that there. I'm going to want to take one, two, three. Three pieces. Make some more sticks. One, two. One, two, three. And there you go. You have a stone pickaxe, which this is definitely an upgrade. I don't know why I'm digging back this way. collect all of this. There you go. You're going to make your basic shelter. I'm going to do this, make a little window right about here, pop, pop, there we go, like a pop pop sizzle fork, whoops, like I gotta be about all that pop pop sizzle fork. That pop pop sizzle fork. There we go. Not looking better. Now you're going to want to skip over one. And make it to where there's enough room to place down your basic items, your essential items that you need. And there's a glitch right there. There we go. That's probably about good. Uh, you can just remove this. Mm, pop that down right there. Going to make a door, which will give you three doors. There you go, like so. through here. You're going to want to place your two sticks that you have left, or however many. You're going to place some coal, and there you go. You have torch. One, two, do, and go outside, and be like doop, doop, ploop. Yeah, I'll take this coal too. Any coal is just coal, so... Now coal is probably one of your most vital things in the beginning. Because that's what's going to give you light, which will keep away the baddies. The skeletons and the uh... Seems like, like a skeleton boy band. It's the skeletons. Acapella. Come on down to the Skeletones Acapella. Hmm. Yeah, 
have one left over. I'll just place that right there. That's fine. Alright. So you're going to... Oh, for a second I thought that was water. I was like, what? <laughs> so you're going to want to make a furnace, which is all of these filled in, except for the middle one. And there you go. And this is what's going to allow you to cook things and smelt things later on. So, this is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Or wait, we forgot one thing. The rest of the essential tools. So, you're going to want to take what you have left, and there you go. We'll make stone axe, and the most important one for the nighttime, if you want to be adventurous, which I suggest that you do not do, is a sword, which is one, one, two, like one, two, like so, which we already made one. And you're going to want to make a shovel. There you go. So, that's all your essential stuff. We have 30 coal, and it is nighttime. Got our little bit of light sources going off over there. And there we go. That is good. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Are you? Are you? Coming to the tree Where they strung up a man They say he run and free Strange things that happen to you Strange and wouldn't be We